first, this evening, let's queer up gay culture. Out Florida Senate candidate Chad Klitzman says Bridget Sigler's story is too outlandish for Hollywood. At just 30 years old, Chad Klitzman is making waves in Florida politics as he vies to represent South Broward County in the state Senate. If elected, Klitzman will become the youngest member of the Senate, adding a fresh voice to the legislative body. With a diverse background that includes serving in the Obama White House, graduating from Columbia Law School, and even dabbling in screenwriting with a Netflix movie under his belt, Klitzman brings a unique perspective to the political arena. Notably, his potential win would also mark a milestone for LGBTQ plus representation in the Florida legislature. Currently, the state legislature has only one openly gay member, Senator Shervin Jones. Klitzman's election would double LGBTQ plus representation in the state's law-making body. Klitzman's journey into politics began in 2020 during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic when he ran for election supervisor in Broward County. Although he narrowly lost the race, he gained valuable experience and garnered support in the area he now seeks to represent. When questioned by LGBTQ nations, about the melodrama surrounding the Bridget Ziegler story, Klitzman expressed disbelief, likening it to a plot line so outlandish that even Hollywood executives might find it implausible. He highlighted the surreal nature of Florida politics, where the realities often surpass the wildest imaginations. However, he makes it clear that his focus is on real issues facing the community rather than participating in political theatrics. And that right there, my mm-hmm. friends, is what I took away from this story, that he is focused on real issues that are going on within our community um, and not trying to look over there. Um, and we're really trying to work on what's going on here. So I'm all for it. And anything that is putting Bridget Ziegler down to make her look even more of a clown here, here. Absolutely. Young, smart, and queer sounds like a potentially Breath of fresh willing air. winning combination. <laughs> and like you said, anyone who makes a point of shaming feckless Bridget Ziegler (laughs) gets my vote. Feckless. You know, um, uh, to be the first to disagree with uh, uh, future Florida Senator uh, Chad Glitzman, Mm -hmm. um, uh, Hollywood implausible. Now let's think. Uh, We have a former president of the United States with 34 federal convictions Mm -hmm. running for president of the United States. What is possibly implausible uh, by Bridget being moms of liberty, um, don't say gay writer, um, being anti-LGBT and ending up in bed with another queer woman? Mm -hmm. Implausible? I don't think so. (laughs) So he gets that wrong. I'm from Sarasota, and I have to say to you, Bridget uh, is a Uh, piece of work. Mm. Um, She came to a party I held in 2010 or 2011 in Sarasota that I was holding while I was doing RuPaul's Drag Race, and she loved the drag queens. And and she's just been revealed as the fraud that she is. Hypocrite. uh, The hypocrite that she is. Um, The only thing that makes the story uh, really plausible is if Donald Trump is elected... (gasps) She and her husband, the former president of uh, the, the of the GOP of mm-hmm. Florida, will just walk right back into the door. All will be forgiven, and we're off to the races. Kind of how the Republican Party works. Well, but forgive. we're thrilled or that forget. a 30-year-old, uh, bright, young <laughs> LGBT leader um, puts his money where his mouth is. It's making it's very waves. inspiring. Yeah. Uh, of what Chad uh, Glitzman uh, is doing. Quite amazing.